There is one thing that fitness magazines will not tell you about squatting. Lean over when you squat. You're crazy. You're crazy, man. You're crazy. Why magazines don't tell you to lean over. Why you should lean over. Stick around. That's what's coming up. Also, stick around for the end. We're going to give you a cue to help with this as well as an exciting announcement. Let's do this. All right. So to begin, why don't magazines tell you to lean over? A couple reasons. First up, sometimes they just don't know any better. They don't know necessarily that getting in that nice leaned over position, not totally horizontal of course, but certainly not vertical, actually puts you in a better, stronger position to squat. Second, magazines are in the business of selling magazines. And on the cover, in photos, leaning over to the average Joe, the average Jill, Jane, might look scary. A vertical back looks safer. It looks better to the uneducated public. But remember, that's because the uneducated person is confusing the idea of a vertical back with a straight back. We want a straight back. Vertical back, we don't really care about. At the top of the squat, at the end of the squat, yes, it will be vertical. But throughout the squat, it's gonna take on a host of angles as we get into that nice leaned over position at the bottom of the squat. So that's why magazines don't tell you why do we actually want to be leaned over. Bottom line, it puts us in a better, stronger position to squat for a couple of reasons, not all of which we'll get into, but real quick, number one, you're trying to solve a geometry problem. Your body is trying to solve the geometry problem. It's easier, it's stronger to get into that bottom position of the squat if you get your segments, your joints out of the way. So you're gonna get your knees out of the way, you're gonna get your femurs out of the way, your butt's gonna get back out of the way, your knees are gonna get forward and out out of the way. And because your butt's gonna get back, your back is going to get leaned over. If you don't, if you don't reach back and lean over, it's gonna be harder to hit depth in your squat. It's going to be a weaker squat. Number two, you've got two joints, really the muscle mass surrounding them, but you've got two joints that are kind of the, the major movers of the squat. You've got the knees and you've got the hips. The further the knees go forward, the more of the load, the more of the moment the knees take. The further the hips go back, the more of the load, the more of the moment the hips take. The hips are the larger joint surrounded by more muscle mass. So we'd like to use the hips to their greatest advantage. We'd also like to use the knees to their greatest advantage. So we're going to reach back with the hips. And if all you did was reach back with the hips and you didn't lean over, you'd fall over backwards. Don't do that. So what are you gonna do when you reach back with your hips so that you can use them effectively? You're going to lean over. That's a simple counterbalancing mechanism and it's gonna put you in a real good position at the bottom of the squat to drive those hips straight up out of the hole. And remember, you're not concerned about your leaned over back because your back is going to be straight. And by the way, a leaned over back requires your back to do work, which is exactly what you want. You want your hips to do work. You want your knees to do work. You want your back to be subjected to stress, productive stress. That's what training is all about because that's how your back gets stronger. That's how your hips get stronger. That's how your knees get stronger. So how can you make sure that you're in that nice leaned over position at the bottom of your squat? We've got a video about this. It's called the squat trifecta, but in short, it's three cues crammed into one. Chest down, butt back, knees out. As you descend, those three things in no particular order, chest down, hips back, knees out. That's going to put you in that nice leaned over position at the bottom of your squat so you can drive up out of the hole. All right, now for the exciting announcement that I mentioned, on May 20th, we have a self-sufficient lifter camp, a starting strength self-sufficient lifter camp. So if you wanna spend the day with me learning how to squat, how to press, how to deadlift, how to program for yourself, how to video and evaluate your own lifts, how to do all this in your own garage at your commercial gym without a coach, come and spend the day with me. We'll link to that below. Hope to see you there, space is limited. As always, we hope this helps you get stronger and live better.